Hello, today I would like to give you a quick look at this Motorola DT4401 explosive proof radio. That type of radio can be used in a hazardous environment that can lead to explosion. Then can be, for example, a coal mine where you've got a dust or in it can be a gas well where you've got like a oil fumes. Those radio should be safe to operate, of course, according to the limits that are specificated in the rating. They are extremely expensive, and there is a couple things that you have to be aware while servicing them. So first of all, you need a, each component of this radio to be explosive proof rated. This antenna looks like a regular SMA stubby antenna, but it have to be explosive proof rated. Here is a regular one. So if, for example, you swap one of them with the non-rating, you completely destroy the rating and if anything happens, then you will go to jail. So you have to be fully aware that each part of this radio need to have a proper rating. The same thing go with the speaker mic. It have to be also explosive proof marking. And the battery is also very special. It is also rated to be explosive proof. This is how it looks like. Here are all the markings. You cannot mistake them. This is a standard radio from the DP4600 enhanced series and it is completely impossible to swap them. This radio is longer even if you compare it to the like a DP4800 series completely different pin output no way to mix but the same time you are capable of using same charger so you've got absolutely no problem and of course you have to recharge them in a non-hazard environment and if you are not using the speaker mic that have to be cover. What is interesting from the your point of view, it feels much more rugged than any of the standard series and it's quite longer if you compare them, so you have to use a special holster for them. The EX is not after the one, so it's not going to be enhanced, so we do not have Wi-Fi and the output power is limited to around 1 watt, that's the maximum rating. And from my test operation that I was doing, because I've got a standard route after checking all radios, I do a couple control talks from different location, I was completely blown away that 1 watt makes absolutely no difference then for what radio I was being able to make all the contacts that I usually do while testing. So absolutely do not to be afraid in a urban city environment. The one what is totally okay, but of course this is a very expensive radio. So most likely you are not going to buy it. And here we've got the channel selector instead of the 360 degree rotation encoder here we've got a fixed number that go from 1 to like a 15 or 16 channels so it's not going all the way and you cannot have more in the one zone and this is how it looks like very nice radio i've tested it and it makes absolutely no different in compared to the DP4800 that's got a 4 watt. 
So it's a really nice radio. So that was the quick look at the Motorola Explosive Proof TP4401 in the UHF version. I hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.